this is Jess Reinhardt here tonight with live starring you for the world premiere of Pretty Rosebud here at the beautiful Arena Cinemas in Hollywood. Come check it out with us. Now what about this film <laughs> makes it different? Um, everything, the story, the characters, it's a very real film with uh, a lot of emotions and a real story, you know, so you connect with the characters instantly. In the first five minutes you're like, oh my god, yes. You're so, like, I see myself in that. Yeah, of course. Now what do you think this movie represents for people in any situation that isn't necessarily healthy? It's about female empowerment. It's about a woman who is, you know, kind of settled for things in her life and decided to really honor her heart and honor her truth and I think that's a, a great message for, for everyone, for, for, every, for any audience out there. There's definitely a lot of uh, complex characters in this. Um, I think Judy did an amazing job at creating really compelling characters for us to play. What else do you think about this movie is innovative? I think the relationship aspect, um, it breaks some stereotypes that are still very prevalent in all societies, which is that the man usually is expected to be the provider, um, the woman is expected to uh, not necessarily stay at home, but she shouldn't set her sights as high so that she can stay home with the kids and things like that. And that's especially prevalent, I think, in uh, immigrant cultures, you know, or first generation, second generation Americans. There are those old traditional practices. They want you to have kids. Have kids. Have kids. Put the career aside. How important do you think it is for an actress to choose the work that she does wisely? I think it's very important. I think the content that you put out there is going to represent who you are. Do you think there's a freedom in ending a marriage that isn't right and being single and starting over? Oh, of course. What you know, advice would you give for our viewers? This is Dr. Phil coming at you now, you know. I know what it is that, you know. If you're somewhere and, and, and you're not happy, you can have every, all the riches in the world. But if you're not happy, you don't mean shit. You dig what I'm saying? Now, I, when I got divorced, I ended up with a quarter of what I used to have. But you know what? I got a lot of happy, man. And that's more important than anything else. You know what I mean? Your husband in this film was unemployed for a while. Do you think the way he reacts to it versus how your character reacts to it was different and really kind of put some pressure on the relationship? I think but it put a lot of pressure on the I relationship. Think, uh, and that's what we wanted to highlight in the film. You know? They're both escaping. They're just doing it in different ways. But it, it's both destructive. And it ends up affecting the relationship. And, and the lack of communication. Uh, at a certain point in the film, they're barely talking to each other. Wow. And that's worse than even arguing. Because if you're arguing, at least it's... Something's happening. Something's happening. But once you're it's fighting. so... They're barely talking to each other, I think that's when you're in trouble.